even fierceness has its ebb. On the day of Chushu, or end of heat, people in the northern hemisphere prepare to bid farewell to summer. However, summer lingers, reluctant to make a swift exit. The climax of growth and the radiance of life continues unabated. The clouds drift effortlessly, devoid of weight or dreariness. The warmth of midsummer offers not only comfort, but also a sense of anticipation for a plentiful harvest, which might be a fervor of a different kind. Has there ever been a soul that did not fully commit, that did not act without hesitation? However, there exists a limit to the acquisition and losses at the height of summer. Eventually, the world returns to a state of tranquility. At present, fresh shoots no longer grow and the earth unfolds in another way. The faint coolness in autumn carries not desolation, but a balanced blend of restraint and serenity. Amidst propriety and moderation lies the wisdom to discern when to proceed or pause, to move forward or step back. The essence of existence dwells not solely in blooming, but also in enduring and turning around. Those who have not bid a proper farewell may either reunite or part ways forever. <laughs>